Hey everyone, welcome to another video channel, DoopTube. Today I'll be doing a review on The Walking Dead Season 8. And instead of like most channels uh, doing a review per episode and then uh, making a review a total of the season, I will just do a total season review and then next year, when season 9 ends, I will do a review per episode and then for season 10 I'll do a review in the way you guys like it the most. Before we get started with this review on this divisive season I want to give away a quick spoiler alert since I will be talking about some plot details so if you're not up to date with The Walking Dead or if you haven't watched season 8 at all just don't watch this video because I may be ruining it for you. With Volk here, let's get started. First up, I want to say that this season is one of the most divisive seasons ever. I mean, if you look at all the seasons that are not great, but good. Let's start off with season 1. That was... Uh, okay. The season 2 was very boring. Season 3 and 4 were mixed reviews, but okay. Season 5 was very divisive. Season 6 was awesome. Season 7 was also divisive. And now we're at season 8. And this is clearly the most divisive of all. A lot of people have mixed thoughts about this season. And I'm just gonna say all the things that are bad about it and all the things that are good about it. Let's just say that this season was great at first. At first it was great. It had great cliffhangers, great deaths, great shocking moments. And it made us, some of the characters more likable. It satisfies moments, it had emotional moments, and it had unforgettable moments. But there were also some very unnecessary things. There was one special thing about the season, and that was that they made us feel about characters we don't give a shit about, and we hate it very much. For example, Jadis, after all her people were killed by saviors, some of us felt feeling bad for her, including me, and I and not that fast in feeling bad for characters who have betrayed someone like Rick. I also felt bad for Negan for losing his life and everything else. It really makes me understand why he's such a dick. I also felt for Dwight and he became a more interesting and better character since he finally turned against Negan like he was supposed to do from the very beginning. However, there were some other things that I didn't like about the character changing, and that was that some of the characters give me mixed thoughts about their choices they made, about how they act around people, and how I like them. Just all the characters that now have a mixed reception are, for starters, Daryl, the badass and most awesome character in the show, I have now mixed reception about him because he is turning bad against against Rick and good against Rick all in all. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I know which side he is on now, but we will see. However, I hope he will go back to being the Scion Bass again instead of being the guy who makes dumb choices. Then we have Mackie, who started off as a great farm girl and a visual badass. However, after the death of Glenn, she starts to get a pretty annoying and not really that great of a character. I really have mixed thoughts about her right now and I know she is a strong and real, and real woman, but I don't know what, uh, what I have to say about her more than that she is really going down the bad path. Then I have to talk about Edith here, holding back, who is very 
annoying at times. At first, she was just an, a very interesting character, sometimes boring, but now she is really getting on my nerves. Just like Terra, who just wants to kill Dwight even though it's on their side for killing Denise, a girl she only knew for two weeks. I mean, you're getting a real bit overreacting, Terra. I mean, you did go insane when Lizzie killed, uh, uh, oh, uh, what was your other girl girlfriend's name again? I don't know, and I don't give a shit at all. However, just get over it, Terra, and you finally did. That was good, but still, I have mixed thoughts about you. But I also didn't like Jesus at all because. Jesus is an awesome badass character in the comics. However, in the show, he gets less to do and he also wants to save everyone. He wants to save everyone alive, even the guy that tried to kill him. You're in an apocalypse, you can't trust anyone, and what you do? You keep the guys alive that wants to kill you. How does that make sense? However, at least we got redemption. For those characters we hated, like Eugene, I start to like him we, when he messed with the bullets and he killed several saviors. That was a really satisfying moment, and I won't forget that moment anytime soon. I also liked Simon more and more, and it was more shocking than all what he all have done so far. However, it was, he was killed in a really great way. Also for Jared, he was also killed in a great way as well. And I started having Gabriel like a little bit more after he became very boring in season 7. And now I like him a little more, however he still makes jump dumb choices, but I'm willing to forgive him for that. However, what I can forgive is those terrible unnecessary deaths that just the dark form characters that had to stick around a little bit longer because they just start getting interesting and are one of the most underrated characters ever. Starting off with Morales, brought into the season for only one or two things, whatever you want to call it, just for a shocking moment. It didn't have any purpose at all, he was just standing there, told that his family was killed by zombies, and he turned to saviors because he felt safe there. And then he was quickly killed off by Daryl in a very forgettable way. Another death I didn't like at all was the death of Dr. Horan Carson. Gable and Carson had a great adventure on their own and they almost got off only then they're being held by saviors and they're being taken prisoner again back to the sanctuary. Carson makes a stupid decision to grab a gun from a savior and then get shot in the probus in the prop and get and then get shot in a death and it was really quickly. I mean he got shot in the heart and most of the characters we have seen shot in the heart had some moments before they died. But Carson didn't. He just got killed right up. And Nikon didn't have any problems with it at all. Even though he is not a doctor on that moment, he is no doctor and he was mad. How another death, and I knew you all see, saw this one coming, that the, this death pissed me off so much that I will never forgive Scott Kimple for making this terrible choice. And that's the death of Carl Grimes. Carl Grimes is one of the greatest characters on the show and one of the most important characters on the show and they just killed him off for no reason at all. I did some research why he was killed off and as it turns out that the actor who played Call, Chandler Ricks, his dad was very moving all the time and really pissed off Scott Gimple. So Scott Gimple fired Chandler Ricks and for some reason they didn't want to recast Call, even though that's one of the greatest choices to make since people already had mixed thoughts about Chandler Rick's acting skills. So a new actor in the role would have been perfect, only they killed him off 
and now call storylines are replaced by a very stupid annoying character that I'm never gonna like and that's Henry I'm never gonna like Henry at all so fuck you Henry you're the worst replacement for Paul and I just hope you get killed off as soon as possible and maybe in some kind of way I don't care if it's dumb or not they have to bring Paul back because it makes no sense that he's dead Cause a very important character for the Wisp storyline and I don't really see it happening without him but it is happening without him and it's gonna suck a lot and I'm just not gonna like it at all but I'm still gonna watch it because for this reason and that is because this season has its up and downs and it has me really hate it for a lot of times however the last two episodes were awesome. They made me have hope in The Walking Dead again. And that's why I think that season 9 may work, but it won't be as great as it's supposed to be. But I think it's still gonna work. I'm really hoping that the Whisper storyline will be done right, and I hope that it works without call. Or else we just get a terrible seasons over the years. And The Walking Dead is getting cancelled by season 12, I think. I really think it is because it's going downhill for so many reasons right now. Too many characters, mixed thoughts about chasing character mobilizations, giving characters a mixed reception, king of fan favorites, king of characters who just start to get interesting. I mean, The Walking Dead is making very dumb choices. And I just hope they're getting their back on trail again. However, we will see what's gonna happen. So far, I have mixed thoughts about what's gonna happen with The Walking Dead. However, I give him this season a 6 because it has its up and downs, it has satisfying moments. Awesome moments, terrible moments, terrible choices made by the makers of the show. But overall, it gets a 6 because it's just one of the most divisive seasons of the show so far. So that's my review on The Walking Dead Season 8. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think about the season in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.